Hey, welcome back guys to part 11. This is overtime mode and it should be the final video of the story and 100% in regards to the actual main story. If you're looking at trophies, we still have infinity mode to cover and we'll be doing that in a separate video. But for yeah, for terms of 100% the main story, we'll be doing that here, completing all that's left to do, including getting the 54,000 kills for the zombie annihilator trophy. So once ready, make sure you save your game. Remember, we should be in that safe where we unlock the Saint Trophy. So back in this critter room is going to be the infinite, infinite durability book waiting for us. And we unlocked over time once we got ending A. So these skills here, Face Crusher and Disembowel. So Face Crusher and Disembowel. They will kill all the soldiers in one go. Basically one hit will kill him. All you do, you run up to him holding R1 and then just keep spamming X and as soon as you're able to do it, you'll do the action and instant kill him. You have to kill 10 soldiers for a trophy. You have to kill 30 with bare-handed attacks for trophies and that actually counts as a bare-handed attacks. And a few of the ones you need to get, like shoot 100, kill 100 enemies, rockets and things like that. So yeah, I just killed that one which I ran past. I'm basically making my way to the motorbike and I'm going to head southwest into Wonderland. Yeah, the, the trophy for killing 100 enemies or zombies with rockets. Don't worry, you'll get that during the farming process. Farming, we're going to reach the farming point at about 23 minutes-ish into the video. So on this remaster, the soldiers are much, much stronger for some reason. Yeah, they can kill you very, very quickly, so you've got to be very careful around them. I don't have no ammo or anything at the moment. I'll grab that machine gun from the one I killed. Um, but we will shortly be killing any soldiers we come across, as long as I'm not on the motorbike. I was trying to get the motorbike then, that's why I was trying to avoid him. But yeah, when I'm on foot, I will be instant killing any soldiers we come across. Then the trophy should come by naturally. So you want to come in here first in Wonderland Plaza, the first shop on the right, and grab the magnifying glass. Yes, yeah, and the first jewelry shop on the right, on the bottom floor, guys. Magnifying glass, make sure you grab it. And yeah, kill any soldiers in your way. And this guy glitched up for some reason. He's dead, but his um, body is kind of still standing. Yeah, so carry on forward. Now we're going to head into food court. So all these items, need to get them for part of the quest. You see on the top left, it tells you how many more you've got left. So we've got the magnifying glass so far. So yeah, food court next. In here, we're going to grab some wine from a far left restaurant. There'll be about six wine behind the counter. So I'm just going to park my bike there. Yeah, so up here in Chris Fine Foods. Yeah, I was going to instant kill him. I'll say R1 and X. Yeah, so you've got about six wines. You just want to heal up if you need to. Yeah, if they seem like they're trying to stun lock you, you can dodge, press circle to evade towards them, and then try to do the face crusher or disembowel. Yes, yeah, so you've got to do that 30 times anyway. So you're not re really wasting any time by killing them. And if you don't kill them anyway, you're just going to probably shoot them from the back, guys, and kill you. Yeah, if you try to run away, though, just keep shooting at you, and you just get stuck in like a... Um, Stagger animation. And next up we're going to grab a blender item. So you can get these blenders from quite a few spots. I mean the game will show you on the map where each item is. But there's actually other places you can get them. So yeah legendary soldier. Defeat 10 soldiers. So I'm going to grab this blender. Behind this counter. That's it that's the blender done. And um, I think three more items go is it. But we've got two already. Magnifying glass and the blender. We're going to climb up here next. Because up here is a magazine which improves your um, firearm damage. This wasn't a thing in the original. This is a new magazine been added in the remaster. Quite a few new magazines have been added. So yeah, grab that magazine guys which increases pistol damage or sorry, firearm damage. And then once you've done all that, get back on your bike and head into Alfresca. We're not doing anything here, we're just going to fly all the way through and head straight into Entrance Plaza. 
Now, if you see any soldiers with a laser sight, that means they've got a rocket launcher out, and if you kill them, you can get the rocket launcher from them. I'm going to need one of them coming up. He had the one, but I'm just going to leave it because we'll get one out in Leisure Park, where I do normally get one anyway. So, yeah, straight up here, guys, and into Entrance Plaza. So, Entrance Plaza, there's two items we want to get here. Oh, there's four items left, didn't there? We've still got the two here, we've got a cough filters and the first aid. Oh no, more, even more than that. Yeah, you can know what I'm saying about how many items left. There's still quite a lot to go, but I know we've got two so far. So come up here next and, yeah, into Estelle's Fine Cosmetics. I think that's the name of the shop, yes. And grab the perfume bottle from that counter. Yeah, grab the perfume bottle, guys. Go back down, get your motorbike. I left my bike down at the bottom just because it's a bit of a pain getting them upstairs in this remaster so come right to the far end on the back right see that what a nice stop that was yes yeah, so you want to come in here next into sports high and ram his face into the floor give him a little face plant and grab that stove yes grab that stove that's another key item guys that camp stove once got that we're next going to head upstairs and yeah you can actually go in the security room now via the back tunnel but only if you um came into overtime mode from a fresh I wouldn't say from a fresh save I mean because this is the Saint save but I mean you loaded overtime as kind of like a new file not like you continued from ending A straight into overtime because if you continue straight from ending A into overtime then this will be closed because basically it carries on your progress on the main story but when you start overtime mode from a fresh um, it will all be kind of reset and here, guys, is the Infinite Durability book. Yeah, Infinite Durability. Pick it up, and as you see, now I have Infinite Everything. It's only... Yeah, and grab the coffee filter, guys, from on the table. Yeah, grab the coffee filters from on the table in the main office before you leave. That's another key item. Yeah, you only get Infinite Durability, of course, on items which have a durability meter. So I know ammo has... Weapons have, like, an ammo count, but they do have a durability be, uh, meter beneath and I probably should have gone down the lift for, because for some reason these are all on the top here I've never actually come through this way before on this particular moment in overtime mode so I'm not quite sure they just fall next to you depending on what entrance you take or they're always up here and down the way but yeah as you can see they can kill you pretty quickly so you've got to be very careful so we're going to head into paradise remember make sure you've got a cough filters the um, infinite durability book You've got the perfume bottle, you've got a camp stove, you've got a blender, and you should have a magnifying glass. I think that's, I think that now, now I think that is the item store. You've got the um, camera developing solution. You've got the um, item up in the sports shop, get what that's called, and you've got a first aid kit. So once in paradise, just take a sharp right, and then another sharp right into the camera shop, and beyond the counter, will be the developing solution, another key item. And I'm shooting my bullets, guys, because there's a trophy for shooting 100 or is it 300 bullets? Yeah, 300. It's 1,000 in the original, it's 300 in this one. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep shooting my weapon. And once you've got a developing solution, I'm gonna come up these steps, and yeah, you can shoot them drones down if you want to. But they do attract more enemies, which we do wanna um, kill anyway. So yeah, down there, guys, it's a cold spray. So make sure you grab a cold spray, there's a key item just as we came in the sports shop, cold spray, and then grab a skateboard. And now, we're just going to stay in paradise until we've got a trophy for killing 30 soldiers barehanded. The reason I do it here is because you've got some orange juice nearby and infinite supply. So yeah, if you need to heal, just make sure you come and get some more orange juice. And if soldiers seem to stop spawning, just leave the paradise and come back in and they all start spawning again. You normally get one or two in each shop as well you go by. So yeah, I think I'm going to head outside now into Leisure Park and back in and the kill a few more. Oh, there it is. Bullet point. That's for shooting 300 bullets. Nice and easy when you've got infinite ammo. So you see them enemies for the laser point. They've got rocket launcher. 
so just grab one from them later so once back in here again look for some more enemies and try to get barehanded kills just by doing a disembowel or face crusher you can skateboard now to move around a bit quicker like I say most doors will have an enemy in sight and if you trigger the drone they normally attract about five enemies to your location then be normally be one in the coffee shop where to get served Yeah, I guess these attacks really fit Nemesis, ripping out his heart. And there we go, guys, Karate Champ. Defeat at least 30 enemies barehanded. Uh, soldiers, sorry. So once you've got them few trophies, they misc once. We'll head into this part now, and now we're going to get another missed trophy for shooting down a helicopter. But this is quite easy with Rock Ottinger with infinite ammo. The way I did this in the original is I, I shot it from beneath just as it flew directly above me with a shotgun and most of the time that would kill it after a few shots it worked really well because you normally have to shoot it's kind of little propeller on the back to knock it down but rocket launcher will just knock it down if you get a direct hit so yeah to kill any enemies soldiers with a laser point and you can take a rocket launcher from them as you can see you've got infinite ammo they normally only hold three but we've got infinite there's a trophy for killing 100 zombies with one of these but we'll get that during the farming so yeah, now head over to the clock tower guys for a cutscene which will trigger the helo. Yep, so you trigger that cutscene, skip it. On the original we did all these missed trophies at the end of the 72 hour mode. Yes, now you're going to jump up onto the picnic area roof. And from here we are going to shoot down the helicopter. Just be careful if you see any lasers, that will be an enemy aiming a rocket at you. Just try to quickly get behind cover or roll off and then just shoot him back the reason we wanted that pistol book that one which upgrades your ammo uh, sorry your firearm damage is because if not when you shoot an a soldier with this it doesn't kill him in one hit but it does when you've got that firearm magazine and there you go yeah just try to aim in front of the helicopter and it should fly into your rocket guys and you'll get a trophy helicopter Right, and we're ready to crack on with the story. So we're going to head down into maintenance tunnel. We're going to graph. We're going to make our way over to Scions. We're going to craft a few. Um, yeah, we're going to get some bees along the way, some queens, and then head up into the hideout. To be honest, because we're already in Leisure Park, probably could have just gone straight over to North Plaza and straight up to um, Isabella for this part. Yeah, looking at it now, this is how I did it in the original. Because on the way, obviously, I was thinking we could farm some kills on the way there. Because on the original, once we kind of took everything to Isabella, we came down into the maintenance tunnel and we just spent about six in game hours getting the remaining kills for the 54,000 kill trophy. But obviously, we don't need to do that here because we're doing the farming in the tunnels um, on the way out to the clock tower tunnel. So yeah, in Leisure Park, I should have just gone straight over to North Plaza. The thing is, actually, you do need to go up to Zion's to get a first aid kit. So yeah, ignore that. It wouldn't have worked. We do need to go to Zion's anyway for the first aid kit. That's it. That's the last key item. So if you see any queens along the way, um, get out of your car and grab one, guys. We want, we want to try and get three before we go up to Isabella. I find before you advance a quest where Isabella wants a queens, it... um. I only seem to be able to trigger three queens at once. When the quest is active, loads can spawn at once. But until that quest is active, it seems only three can only be spawned at one time. And that includes any in your inventory that will count as one of the spawns, for example. Yeah, so from here, I'm just going to enter the meat processing area. Look for any zombies with their arms above the head. So basically any zombies with queens. If not, I'm going to go back into the tunnels. See if any zombies there have queens and just keep switching back and forth guys until you've got two more queens. You want three queens in total. So if you see any, you can shoot your rocket. Um, but I don't really need to shoot my rocket yet. Just have a look around the camera, pan the camera around guys. See if you see any zombies waving their arms in the air and chanting. Yeah, none in there. So back out here. Yeah, look around. Can you see any zombies with their arms in the air? Not really. 
I think it's took me a few attempts. It don't normally take that many, um, but yeah, it might take a few attempts before you actually see any queens. Like I say, as long as you've got less than three, you should see some spawn. So yep, still no queens. I think one more go will be the one. Yeah, I think there's two to the left. Yeah, there we go. I can see them. You can see their arms in the air. So yeah, just kill them. Take them out with your rocket launcher. And um, you might have to drop a healing item in order to pick one up. Do not use them. We need to give them to Isabella later. Shame they don't become infinite. You know, with your infinite durability book. Right, most of you use a healing item instead of dropping it. Right, there we go. I guess just exchange the items. So I've got three queens and I've got all the key items except for one. There should be one key item to go for Isabella. That should be the first aid kit. If you open your map or your watch, it should show you all the objectives for that particular scoop. Basically what um, items are remaining. So yeah, come to far end and in the far pharmacy office should be the first aid kit. Yes, there you go. Grab that. Then once you're done, now we're going to head over to Isabella. Now in the supermarket, it's going to be a bunch of soldiers and you can quite easily get stun locks in here because they're kind of like all close together. Yeah, so be very careful. I do end up just trying to get away as fast as possible. But yeah, see how annoying it is. You might just want to kill him as you go past him. Right, so once out into North Plaza, get on the motorbike and head over to Isabella. And then what we do, once we get the final two queens afterwards, you have to get five in total. It was ten on the original, um, but five on this one. Yeah, we'll grab a few more healing items, basically some wine. Because when we're doing this farm in the tunnels, you won't be able to get any healing items, so you've got to kind of make your healing items last. It's not difficult, you shouldn't be getting hit too much, so you you should have plenty. Um, but yeah, just be kind of wary of healing items, don't just get hit. When you shouldn't be getting hit, basically, still try to play defensively if you can. If you did carry over your progress from the main story, then the door next to Chrislips will be open and you can get the survival book in there, which increases your healing items effectiveness by 100%, which is really good. But unfortunately, we can't get it now because we've kind of begun overtime on a fresh safe. So it's not going to be open. So yeah, Hi um, highlight. Equip the queens and torch is better. And then when you get the option to give, give them to her, guys. Then three queens. Once you give her the three queens, now we want to go back to maintenance tunnel and get two more. Or if you're lucky, keep a lookout for any zombies or queens on the way there. I don't normally see any. I think I've seen once. Once I've seen a zombie with a queen on the way to Scions. But yeah, you can keep an eye out for zombies here with queens, but you're likely going to have to go down this maintenance tunnel, guys. Where it's going to be a massive horde of them. Right, so back into Scions food and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to kill these enemies on the way. I think I did actually get killed here. I had to reload this safe. And um, back, back at the entrance. Yeah, grab a trolley if you want. And go for supermarket sweep if you uh, need some more healing items. Remember, the best one is a wine in the corner. I'm going to grab some on the way back up. Right, yeah, rocket launcher should make quick work of them. Right, so I need two queens so it's going to do what we did before just enter meat process area exit meat processing area and keep a lookout for any zombies with their arms swinging above the reds because that way you know they have a queen right here we go oh she got a trophy rampage that's of killing 100 enemies with rocket launcher i've got i got that here i thought i was gonna to have to get that during the farm um, I think I forgot it triggered here. So I need one more. I just got one queen. Um, but you actually find queen, more queens spawn actually 
um, when this quest is active, you'll see more on the map. So yeah, you'll you'll go in the meat process area, meat processing area, and come out, and there'll be like ten zombies with their arms above their heads, having a massive rave. So that's really helpful that they make them spawn more during that quest. Because sometimes you can look around for a long time and you don't see any. And yes, almost died here. So I mean, you got to be really, really careful with these guys. So now I'm going to stock up on healing items. You might want to keep your skateboard. I actually get rid of my skateboard here for swap it for a healing item, but you might find it useful on the last bit of the tunnels. Um, but you can always just hold it as well as hand like I do, and that makes it so, so most of zombies miss you when they try to grab you. So yeah, I do actually drop the snake board, like I say, it's up to you. Skateboard, sorry. Yes, and make sure you keep them two magazines, infinite ammo book and the book which increases your damage for firearms. Like I say, it will impact the rocket launcher and it should make you more effective at killing the enemies in the tunnels. Basically, the enemies just on the outside of the blast, which normally just get knocked over but don't quite die. Hopefully, that'll make it more chance to kill a lot of zombies in the vicinity of the rocket explosion. Yeah, so once outside, back on your bike. We are ready to leave the mole guys. Yes, this is basically the point of no return in a way. Because once you give them two to Isabella and tell her you're ready to go. Yes, on the original, since you go for the last one, it automatically triggers the cutscene and you automatically left them all here. Isabella kindly asks you if you're ready yet. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to save my game before. Like I say, once you do this, you can't come back. So save your game. Right, talk to Izzy. Give her the two final queens. Like I say, once you give her the final one, you will not get kicked out straight away. Sure? You get asked, are you ready to leave? Are you sure? Tell her, yes, you are. Right, she'll inject you with the um, antidote, apparently. Right, so we'll be farming kills very, very soon, but first, yeah, you can save your game here if you want to. First, we're just going to jump on the zombies' heads and walk across them in order to get another trophy. So, yeah, just jump up on a trophy. On a jump up on a trophy. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, get close to the zombie, up close and personal, so you're in kind of like lip syncing distance. And then jump, and you should climb on top automatically. Then just keep walking along the top, guys, and you'll get a trophy. Zombie road. Yes, once got that, now we're going to make our way to where we're going to do the farm. And you want to turn off auto aim for this. Yeah, go into settings and turn off auto aim. Just turn it off because it will mess this up. Yeah, so you ideally want to be shooting at the big crowns. Like I say, this isn't the farmer's spot just yet. It's a bit further on. Um, but we just need to clear the zombies out of the way so we can push on forward. Yeah, so this storm drain. Come over to it and once it's better gets close, you'll get the prompt to examine it. You lift it up and she'll squeeze through. And while we're waiting for her to open this gate, she's going to shoot some zombies through the gate. Yeah, don't worry, your rockets will not hit the bars, they just go straight through. Right, it's going to carry on forwards. Now, at the end of here will be a screen transition, and that's where we're going to farm. Basically, we're going to switch, we're going to kill zombies, switch, kill zombies, switch, and keep doing that, obviously, because when we swap screens, it's going to respawn everything. And like, like I say much, much earlier in the guide, this, it gets you about 1,000 kills every 90 seconds. So it's much quicker than driving the car in the maintenance tunnels, much, much quicker. Obviously you need, this takes a bit more setting up, I guess. You need infinite ammo and you need to be at the end of the game. Um, but you've got to do all that anyway for the trophy. So why not just farm here, guys, and save yourself a few hours of your time. So yeah, this is where the screen transition is. So this is where the farm is going to take place. So now we're going to farm 54,000 kills, guys. And your kills will count from all your playthroughs, by the way. So even though for now, for me now, it says 800, if I go into my challenge progress, I think it says like 3,000. So yeah, your kills will be tracked in your challenge menu. So from that saint, 
safe and also from the safe where we've got ending A. All your kills. Um, well, sorry, we'll be saved. Okay, so the way this works, as you can see, in this room we fire two rockets. So two rockets in this room. Like I say, try to fire into the crowd. I don't shoot more than two because otherwise you're just going to kill one or two. And then in this room, I normally shoot about seven. But just be careful of zombies close by coming up behind you or Isabella getting too close. If Isabella gets too close, just move slightly to the left so you don't hit her and damage yourself. So you can't kill her, but you can hurt yourself with the blast from the rocket. So yeah, two in here and seven rockets in there. Normally a seven rocket, I shoot at the enemies on the um, big kind on, on the ledge in the distance. So yeah, two, seven in here, one, two. You can see me switching left and right, but you just want to shoot in the middle, guys. And they're not at the top here. Yeah, approximately seven. Sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. And yeah, try to shoot in the middle. Don't switch left or right like I'm doing. In a few minutes, I do start shooting in the middle, and it does work better. I think it's because we've got that pistol uh, firearm damage book. So yeah, and just keep doing that, guys. You'll see me do it a few more times. And you'll probably reach level 50 at this point as well, if not already. So you'll get our trophy, guys. Level max, reach level 50. And that's final skill with zombie walk. I'm not sure where that's supposed to be used because um, it's not really mega effective for anything. But yeah, that's the final skill. You always get that skill on level 50. Right, so, and that's it, guys. Yeah, brief edit there. And that's me getting the zombie annihilated trophy. Like I say, it took me about 1 hour 30. Well, truth be told, I asked my son to do this for me, that's why I'm almost dead, I don't know what he's doing. But he's left me with one health left, thanks mate. Yeah, but yeah, I think it took him just under two hours, so he wasn't quite as quick as what I'd be doing. Um, but he's quite young, so if he can do it in two hours, I'm sure you can do it in a little bit quicker. But yeah, try not to lose all your health. So I've got to be careful now, I don't get killed on my way back. Sorry, not on my way back, but to the end of the tunnels. But if you take Isabella's hand, yep. The zombies will actually will make it harder for them to um, attack you. So that's what I'm going to do in a second. Or if you have the skateboard skill, you could just skate through all these. The thing is, even on the skateboard, you can get grabbed. So yeah, like I say, make sure you got 54,000 kills, guys, before you push on through the tunnels to the end. This one here, you have to open the sewer drain again for her to squeeze through and unlock the gate. And then beyond this gate, guys, it's a big slope leading downwards. And there'll be a safe at the bottom. There's not as many zombies on this slope. So yeah, once the gate's open, guys, you can take a hand and head on through. There'll be a cutscene once you get closer to the bottom of the slope. And there will be some apples to heal with near the jeep at the end. Um, so if you do need heal, but the thing is, once you get in the jeep, guys, you get full health anyway, ready for the final boss. Yeah, the final boss, the game will give you full health automatically, so don't worry if you are low. And that's for the tank, and when you beat the tank, if the tank knocks down some of your health, you'll get full health again for the final boss right at the end. So there's basically two final bosses. You've got like a tank section, we have shooter tank, and you have to fight a enemy a boss in melee, melee fashion. You get full full health for each part. So yeah, after that cutscene, you'll spawn on a save point. You can save your game here if you want to. I'm going to save it just in case. Yeah, so save your game there. Now, what you need to do now is you need to go approach that gate, but then go left, and you'll come across some steps. Go up the steps, and it will take you to a lever, which will open the gates. So yeah, go left here. Head up the slope. Yeah, up here, guys, and pull the lever. That will open the gates below. Now, there's two soldiers outside through them gates. So be very careful if you're low in HP. Yeah, two soldiers. So I've got to be very, very careful. Found him. Yeah, it's one there. I'm not quite sure what's happened to him. He's kind of bugged out. So that's one. There should be a second soldier. And there he is. She's just over there. That's it, now soldiers are dead. I'm kind of safe, as long as I don't get too close to any of the undead. Right, and once you reach the jeep, and um, Isabella is nearby, choose to get in and you'll get a cutscene, guys.
Yeah, wait for it to be nearby, that's it. Get in. So you've got to destroy the tank now, and I think when you got a firearm book, I think you do increase damage to it. But this took ages to destroy in the original, it's so much quicker here. So yeah, with the tank, shoot the lights on the front, the green lights. Just keep shooting them to kill it, and also, when the little turret comes out the top, that little R2-D2 type thing, yeah, shoot that, and then he will not lob any drones at you. So yeah, just focus on the lights, but when the green laser comes out, shoot the um, little turret on the top, guys, until it goes back in. That's it, and then repeat shooting the green lights. So quick on this one. It'd literally be on, like, 75% 70, health so far on the original. But yeah, after that, you'll get another cutscene. You'll be back to full health if you did lose any. And they got to fight Brock barehanded. He's much easier in this than the original. And the original could kill you pretty quick. But basically, all I keep doing is somersaults. Yeah, just keep doing, try and keep trying to do somersaults and a sweep. A sweep is when you land, you have to hold away and press attack to where you're facing. But yeah, just keep doing somersaults and occasionally he'll be kind of weakened and just run up to, run up to him and do the prompt guys to lob him and do a big chunk of damage. Yeah, so just keep doing somersaults. Get a picture of him if you want to when he's got the yellow PP icon above his head. It's not really necessary for anything, um, but you'll see me do it in a second. So yeah, somersaults. There you go, getting his haymaker ready. I think, I think that happens when he runs out of stamina, because I didn't even hit him, and he hit me, and then just went down on his knees. Don't think you can get out of here alive. But he didn't normally do that in the original, I don't think. Right, so when you got him, yeah, run back up to him and just finish him off with disembowel. Yeah, you know where we kill him two soldiers? There's two apples in that area. And at this arena, there's no healing items. I mean, I've not checked on the remaster, but I had a good look around on the original, and there's basically nothing. But there is an auto save here actually, on the original there's no save. So if you fail this fight, you have to go back and do the tank and everything again. Here, you just respawn back at the start of the Brock fight. Um, but yeah, once you killed him, you'll get a true ending and you'll unlock Infinity Mode. And get that trophy guys, Infinity. And make sure you save this game because when we do Infinity Mode, we are going to be loading this save. It's so maxed out save, you've got the Infinite Durability book, of course, Zombie um, Annihilator the real mega buster all sorts and what we're going to do now is new game 72 hour mode and just choose any safe and that's going to give you another trophy never give up that's basically from restarting from the first day using a previous safe and then that'll be it guys so all i'm kind of missing you might be missing the marathon winner trophy at the moment i'm only on 27,000 k and i'm going to do 42,000 more commas but you can actually do that afk if you do AFK while on the Space Rider ride back in Wonderland, um, which a lot of people don't know about. But yeah, I'll bring that up again in Infinity Mode. So yeah, all that's left guys is the Infinity Mode trophy, which we are going to do in a separate video. So keep an eye out for that. And then that'll be it for this guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.